A tricky Middle Eastern inspired pressure test sent one of the competitors home last night. And tonight, the worst tagine was made by. Aaron. Oh, you see it there. Unfortunately, Aaron was eliminated after the judges found his tagine bitter and overwhelmed by the taste of cloves. So for more on his time on MasterChef Canada, Aaron is joining us from Montreal. Aaron, so good to see you. I'm so sorry about last night. That was tough to hear. Hey, thanks so much, Kelsey. You know, these are the breaks. Uh, they hit me with the hind. <laughs> yeah, they did. And you, honestly, you didn't get a lot of direction on how to even work with the tagine. What did you think? Had you ever seen one before? Yeah, I've seen a tagine before. I'm familiar with it. Uh, I think really where my demise came into place is we had to hand the tagine over to the judges covered and it was up to them to release the steam. So evidently, before you serve something to somebody, you want to be able to taste it and adjust your seasoning if necessary. You know, they found it a little bit bitter. It's an easy fix with a little bit of sweet. And um, unfortunately, I didn't have that opportunity under the constraints of the challenge. But those are the breaks, right? Yeah, so let's talk about those spices. They were set out before you, and there were so many to choose from. And you guys had to do a lot of tasting, a lot of smelling to even figure out what you wanted. How did you even start with picking spices? Well, you know, I, I went to sort of a Middle Eastern palate. I was looking for things, you know, like cinnamon and clove and, um, you know, warm spices that we actually associate a lot with, um, you know, tortillas and catépis here in Quebec. Um, there's a lot of parallels to be drawn and, you know, I grew up in a predominantly uh, Moroccan Jewish neighborhood and uh, it's not unfamiliar to me. It was, you know, I, I, I really dropped the ball. Oh, so that must have made it even more disappointing when you were probably looking at it thinking, I got this one in the bag. And then you hear, you have the worst tagine, like such harsh words afterwards, that must have really sunk. <laughs> no, you, you've never got it in the bag, you know? Uh, we're down to the top six best home cooks in Canada at this point, and it's arrogant to think that you ever have anything in the bag. Um, everybody there is talented, and everybody's there to give it everything that they've got. Um, you know, at this point, it's not about who's good and who isn't. It's the small things that'll trip you up. A pinch of salt, in this case, it was a pinch of cloves, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to talk about your talent and where that's taking you in just a minute. But I do want to take uh, everyone back to the first part of the episode when you participated in the restaurant takeover at Chef Michael's restaurant. And you actually served 52 guests. Three of them were from this show. It was myself, Anne-Marie, and Lindsay, and we were there. Uh, how was that, that whole challenge? How was it? Uh, it was it was a thrill. Um, you know, it's the rush, the adrenaline of working on the line. Um, I felt like a duck in water. Uh, it, it was really great. Uh, I had a I had a fantastic time. It was an honor to cook uh, in Chef Michael's restaurant at L'Auberge du Pommier. Um, you know, uh, for 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 a guy from Quebec to cook in a French fine dining restaurant of that caliber in Toronto, uh, for you folks uh, on your morning, it was uh, it was a, it was a great honor, and I'm I'm appreciative that I had the opportunity. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's talk about that opportunity. One thing we have to mention is the beef, and it was tricky for not just your team but the other team as well. You were team captain. Take us through what happened uh, in the kitchen with the beef. So the beef was definitely, to, to my sensibility anyways, the hardest protein to take care of. Trevor took care of it on the red team and I ended up taking care of it on the blue team. You know, every time you go into a new kitchen, new equipment, um, there's a learning curve. And particularly in Chef Michael's kitchen, it's all state of the art. We were using, you know, it's all induction cooktop burners. Um, and I felt like my heat was a little bit low and so I cranked it up and it went from zero to 100 really, really quickly, and um, I lost that first pan of steaks, and it put uh, our team a little bit behind the eight ball, but, you know, Miranda was there. She, she really helped me dig myself out of a little bit of a hole, and we got that ship right back on track. Um, you know, it, it just takes a small slip like that to give the other team an edge, and unfortunately, that's what happened. I thought that our team did really well. I thought that Taya and Miranda really, really did an excellent job, and I was proud to work with them on the line. 
Well, you know, a lot of people are proud to work with you and your journey is not ending with MasterChef Canada. At the end of the episode, Chef Michael actually offered you a job to work at his restaurant in Montreal. Uh, so where are you at with that? Are, are you taking the job? You have the heart and soul. So uh, it was a tremendous honor to be offered that job by Chef Michael. I mean, we all go to MasterChef Canada for a couple of reasons. A hundred grand, a trophy in the title, and to be a home cook that gets considered a chef at the end of the day. And for Chef Michael to say that he would hire me and, and, and put me in his kitchen in a professional capacity was a nod that he says that I'm a home cook that belongs in a professional kitchen. Um, you know, but I, I've got my own thing going on right now. I'm working hard on opening a tapas bar in Montreal called Bar Linda. It's going to be in the St. Henry neighborhood at 4606 Notre Dame West. And I'm really, really looking forward to welcoming people there. Cool, Aaron, we're very excited for you, and I love that you gave yourself a little plug there. So congratulations, and it was nice hey, to follow you. We gotta do it, right? You gotta do it, no <laughs> worries. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Hey, you at home can catch MasterChef Canada Thursday nights at 9 p.m. on CTV.